Bro, 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 if you put some tin foil down, we can make omelets. We are not making an omelet. Okay, well, we can make poached eggs. We can make Chinese steamed eggs. We can make eggs on a hill. Shit, we could even make dippy eggs. It'll be great! Egg. Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a review for uh, Everyone Must Die. I bought this at Cinema Wasteland from the director. He was a pretty cool guy. Basically, uh, my understanding was from the trailer that this was kind of like one of those throwback slasher films that was kind of funny at the same time that kind of played into its, uh, you know, the self-awareness. Uh, this one kind of was like that, but it was a little more serious at points. They had Goofy at points. Kind of strange. Basically, what we have here is... Uh, this guy was out for revenge his sister was murdered. Uh, the killer was supposedly killed, but uh, he believes he's not dead uh, due to a reporter uh, telling the story that uh, the murder seems to be falling the United States all the way down and uh, the next city is going to be this one. So he basically uh, stakes out there trying to find the killer. Uh, the kills have been, uh, re uh, kill counts on these nights have been ridiculous high, 25, 40, and it seems like some sort of conspiracy is going on. <clears throat> what happens is uh, he ends up... Uh, staking out these people and looking because uh, he figures they'd probably be the next victims because they look like a bunch of dumb party stereotypes. So he hangs out and uh, crashes their uh, party when a uh, killer decides to show up. And uh, then therefore they try to survive the night or the day. Uh, there's a couple good things about this movie and a couple bad things, you know. A lot of these uh, newer slasher movies are kind of a mixed bag. This one, I would say, is a mixed bag. Uh, first and foremost, I like the idea that the killers are kind of uh, moving on, that they have a pattern, and that it's not really an explainable super... It's more like a supernatural occurrence. I kind of enjoy that. I also uh, enjoy that there is, like, a, a shout-out to the end of the film, to another film. And, uh... I do, there's, the kills are kind of a uh, lackluster at points, but there's one good kill I appreciated. Some of the kills, like I said, are just kind of your standard uh, slasher kills from back in the day, or nowadays it's just the aftermath or the uh, simple, and then not much uh, horrific gore, special effect details. Uh, and, you know, I'm all for that kind of thing. I love uh, the special effects going completely crazy. Uh, the characters in here are very strange characters. They almost seem like they thrived on one thing about them and then just exploited it to ridiculous levels. And some of the things they thrived on are just so strange. Like, one guy's obsessed with eggs, so his whole gimmick is he only talks about eggs. One guy's a politician, that's the director. Uh, I think it's Steve Rindanowski or... Um, Rindon's in, I, I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh, he uh, plays this kind of like this guy running for student president. He's like this kind of politician guy. He's actually really funny. He's uh, like... Uh, it's just strange to see like this uh, politician guy in there. Okay. Okay. Let's just contact the authorities. It's what any responsible citizen would do. Yeah, but I think all of the responsible citizens left our phones outside on the table. Oh no! I have important campaign notes on that phone! Down. Which isn't important right now because people are in danger. That's fucking great. Whose bright idea was it to leave the phones out there? I don't know. It would be awfully stupid if somebody suggested, hey, let's leave our phones out on the table because some song told us to. Fuck you. I'm sorry. How about we have a nice chat with him, huh? How about that? Fuck. There's also sorts of stereotypical characters in here. I guess they're poking fun at bros and jocks and uh, uh, rappers, like wigger rappers, and that's kind of funny. Like, there's uh, actually two groups of people in this film, and I thought the first group had uh, all around was pretty decent. Uh, actually, um, there's a gag in there that works well with uh, two people parting off into a sexual thing, and that's kind of funny. Uh, the rapper guy is a wigger, and he's always rhyming. Just ridiculous characters, the the nerd, the, the lady who's like a Wiccan. Uh, so there's all sorts of zany characters in this one as well. How's the herbal tea, Doug? Hmm. It's exactly 76 degrees and I can already feel the antioxidants. I'm glad you talked me into coming out here today. It's been so fun. Uh, I've just been really freaked out about those killings in Rotary. I heard about that. I wasn't able to make contact with any of the victims. It must have been brutal. 23 killings in 24 hours. Kind of makes you think there's a body they never found. Well, the killer? That makes 24. I heard the killer isn't dead. He got some other guy. <laughs> killer wanna come around here starting up that shit? That's fine. I wear around his chest with my motherfucking knife. <laughs> Sam, you don't own a gun. Hey, fucking with me? No man is ever dead. 
but I'd be lying if I said MC Pink wasn't scared. True that. Uh, the special effects I think are just okay, and uh, the idea is actually pretty decent with the killer uh, kind of traveling through there, even though he's supposedly dead and stuff like that. I don't want to give too much away because there is some uh, semi-twist. This sounds like it's something you would like, then uh, check it out. This is uh, Everyone Must Die. The special features are, there's a trailer, writer commentary, cast and crew commentary, bloopers, Pete alternate takes. Pete is uh, the politician guy. Also, I must mention, I did care for the guy who was a golfer. I thought he was fairly funny. And uh, I, the jock guy was so ungodly annoying that uh, I guess uh, he uh, did his job well because I couldn't stand him. He was pretty hilariously cheap. Cheap, and he has a pretty funny moment, I guess, when uh, he's trying to impress some girl. But uh, that's my review for Everyone Must Die. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good one. Hey, Jenny. Hey. Is that beer okay? We tried not to get the cheap kind. Yeah, it's... I'm the wide receiver of the football team. Means I'm awesome. You mean a wide receiver, right? They kind of have more than one. I'm the fastest at everything. Just watch. Wow, very impressive. You're like the Flash. How'd you know that was my middle name? It's a con. Never mind.